Dạ đang khi mà mình nói về cái tương lai hay là concept car thì hôm nay đặc biệt một lần nữa nàng Kia sẽ trổ tài trong chiếc xe concept car mà chị nghĩ cái này là chiếc xe đi cắm trại nè mọi người và xin cho khán giả được xem chiếc xe concept car của họ à, của bên Kia cái car xe ra sao nè Hi there, you're here at uh, LA Auto Show, Kia booth and we're showcasing here our PV5 Weekender. My name is Andre Franco Luis, I lead our future design team here in the US and this has been our labor of love and we're showing it here at LA Auto Show. So well, the purpose uh, is actually quite obvious, it's an adventure van, right? We believe it's the coolest van out there. It's actually a highly capable van, lifted, big tires and wheels to really get you wherever you want to go. If you pursue this active lifestyle, that's the car for you. We're showcasing here at LA Auto Show as a early concept. Um, and it's actually a vehicle that has a lot, a lot of thoughts and functionalities embedded in it. So one of the, one of the things is we, we send our designers out on the trails and we discovered that a winch is always a lifesaver, especially if you're by yourself, to get you out of situations. But a winch can be something very intimidating if you don't use it frequently. So we utilize it in combination with our screen to actually show how much pulling force it's actually exerting to really build trust and give it back to you. So the way we like to see technology is basically building a synergy with the user and building trust. So you can technically see... Yes, you see actually force. the pounds and the force that you're pulling it okay, with. And that really builds trust. Another thing that we learned is, you know, when you go through the woods in the forest, you want to have something like a deflector that deflects branches before it hits your windscreen. Oh. And especially it being a van, a cab forward van, mm. is this is an industry standard four millimeter cable, mm. and that will deflect any branches coming how your does, way. How does that work? So it's basically, you know, if you have branches coming oh, from the outside, so we'll it hits it first and, it and then it off. deflects, bounces off. Yeah. Okay. And um, is it a working vehicle? Or just right now, it's more like a So this currently is more of a concept, concept. prototype. I see. And what's so special about this wheel? I'm yeah. sure the so special about the wheels is in combination with our solar panels on top of our roof, the idea here is to generate power. Right? Ah, okay, okay. And solar, everybody knows. Yeah. But on the wheels, through experiences, we actually have experienced quite gusty winds when we were camping. Yes. Currently, there's no way of harnessing it. I see. But the idea behind these is we call them the, turbo, uh, the, the hydro turbine wheels. Yes. So this acts like an independent spinner. So when you have gusty winds, they start actually spinning mm -hmm. and actually creating 100% um, renewable energy by all four plus the solar uh, panels, that actually gets fed back into our solar generator at the back of the vehicle and gets stored there. So similar to a wind turbine. Exactly, exactly, like a, exactly. The one thing I'm, I mean, because I do have a camping trailer mm -hmm. myself, the one thing I really appreciate is that uh, uh, the eco light, that, no, no, the, this thing right the, here. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just to make sure that you're on the flat exactly. ground and stuff like that. So, you know, we, we embedded a lot of Easter eggs and we wanted uh, people to find them themselves. So, yeah. if somebody goes out there, you know, somebody who never goes will wonder, what is this? Yeah. But if you go out there, you know how valuable a good yes. night's sleep is, yes. right? Because I, I have a camping trailer that doesn't come with it. So, every time you park, you stabilize everything. Yes. You gotta make sure that it's on a flat ground. Exactly. Good Put enough. some rocks underneath yeah, exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. But this come with it, so it yep. does help you yep. a lot. Yep. Okay. Yep. How about the inside? So this oh, deploys yeah. actually. This deploys oh. also. So this actually stays stationary when the wheels rotate. This deploys and becomes actually a foot rest. Oh, I see. So that Just you can wipe your windscreen, access the uh, the lights, or actually put some tension on the tensioners. Mm. Okay. And then the inside. Yeah. So inside, you know. Driver configuration, obviously, you, you have your bring your own device on the steering wheel. You have the center screen now flipped to accommodate the tray lounger in this scenario right now. But then the other thing that is pretty special about this vehicle is this side. This is what we call our gear head. So the idea is, you know, 
dream big and travel smart. So the idea is when you have gear, and we all love to celebrate our gear, we would put it on the rail system here. And now when you're stationary, you outsource all of your gear outside here. So it means you maximize cabin space. And at the same point, it's super easy to grab and go. Whether it's your helmets, your wetsuit, your harness, whatever it is. Yeah. Right? Every time you go outside, you remember, oh, I forgot to. So this is what addresses that pain point. This probably closes. So this actually closes this way. Yeah, you just push it in. It's almost what you see parallel in an RV. You know, when they expand the living room. Just on the smallest footprint. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. what I like it is not enclosed. Correct. So that you don't have to worry about me. So we have a detachable like I top see. out of that material too. So inhibit moisture and whatever, exactly. right? Yeah. And then theoretically also could put a mosquito net on it. Right. Here we're just showcasing so we're as the bear. Like a yes. Exactly. Is it can you stand on it or like uh, it is it done so that you can stand on it, but on this model we don't do okay. it. Right next to it, you see actually something, you know, all of the interior has these rail systems. Ah. So one of the pain points also that we saw is that people like to go on the trails, but they actually have substantial setup times, half a day a day to prepare your next adventure. So, now, so with having these is we're basically keying into a lot of people have their garages with their rail systems yeah. where the gear is nicely celebrated. And, and then, then we do plug there. and play. I see. You have your back for where. camping. See where the uh, these uh, pattern come from. Exactly. Hook things on. Yeah. Okay. So same on the exterior. When you have a yellow one, okay. it indicates that it's an electrified rail. Okay. So now you can plug in all of electrical like outlets, but also an inductive cooktop that we okay. have right there. And then you can cook off here yeah. with an actual pantry where you have your pots right and pots and pans and. I see. And I see you also have uh, solar generator. Solar generator. Okay. So it feeds off all of your, you know, you want to light up the camp site at night. So you plug them in here. Yeah. You have access to it also from the inside. I see. And then uh, what's so special inside? How do you get the bed? So special about this, this is actually the passenger seat that okay. in this configuration is a table. So mm -hmm. when you sit here, you play cards, you eat something, you have it as a table. Yes. And it actually on the rail back slides forth. backwards. Okay. What you see in the front right now is the stationary version, what we call our trail lounger. Okay. And it's basically the cushions missing from this side. Yeah. See, this one is still in here, but these three are the ones that are actually over there. Yeah. The frames deploy from the ground and create actually a train a trail lounger okay. so that you actually really can take in and frame the beautiful landscape of the mountains, the beach and really have a sundowner, enjoy your time where you are, I see you. change and of perspective. Regarding to bedding, then what, like... Well, so bedding, actually, yeah. that's what the compressor is for. So all of our um, uh, mattresses are actually it's inflatable. Inflatable. Because of the efficiency of space. I see. So you have the rails on top you here, to store them. where you put actually your cargo net in mm. it. They're stored in here. Now you put it on top, you inflate it, and then you go up and you sleep up there. I see, so then there'll be, so you could technically turn this into a bed here. You could technically take two people like adults down here, yeah. two children upstairs. I see, yeah. okay. Well, currently it's a concept. It's a concept, okay. But, um, but we're working hard to get something, you know. Yes, definitely. And uh, how does it working with Kia connect to this? Like, are you is it like a concept that Kia coming out with, or are you personally? Well, it's based on the PV5, and the PV5 goes to market next year. I see. Right. So it's really showcasing a bookend of the PV5 family for the uh, personal use, yeah. for an active lifestyle. So is there just a camper van? It probably will have seating for large family or yeah i mean you could have uh, you know a secondary seating row over here we're showcasing it in this setup because it makes sense to showcase it that way yeah. but you could theoretically have it with a second yeah. row right yeah definitely yeah thank you you're very thank welcome you. What's your name again for that? andre andre thank you so much i will be waiting